So here's a live lesson with a low handicap golfer, Dave, who's struggling with pulls and pull cuts with his driver. And we're gonna show you the exact process that we went through to get his ball starting more online with the target and give him that powerful sweeping ball flight that he was looking for. So if you're struggling with something similar, watch this video, implement the exact drill that I give him towards the end, and I guarantee it can help with your driving too. Let's get stuck in. So if we were gonna exaggerate things uh, all being equal, yep. if you were to shift your whole body in this direction for me, yeah, like everything, yeah. and add your feet, everything, so you're set up, good. Yeah, take your normal stance. Yeah. Now, where do you feel like your swing's got to move and in what direction to get that club back to the ball? Ow. Well, from there, if you're going to get to that ball, yeah. you would have to make a huge over the top motion, right, which would okay. then increase your leftward swing direction. Yeah. So obviously that's not a good thing. No because at the moment of impact, everything is going left yeah. for you. Yeah. Now, what we need is the opposite. Right. So for example, if you were to place a golf ball off your back foot yeah. for me, and we'll tee it down low for this one. All right, so for this one here, what you're going to do is all things being equal, and I want you to even move that further back. Right. Right. So almost, it feels like it's on your back heel. Right. Okay, now I want you to hit like a little baby shot here. And this is just experimenting. You're a good player, right? So you're going to be able to hand-eye coordination, match this up. Yeah. But let's just see what happens to the numbers, just so you get an idea about swing direction, okay? Full swing? Or? You can go, let's say, a little half speed, okay? Right. So where do you feel like at the moment of impact, your swing was generally heading overall? Right. Long way right. Yeah. Good. So... Your swing direction at the moment of impact is way left. Yeah. And what this does, if you set up to that, and we're gonna make it a little less severe on this one. Good. Okay, now I want you to fully commit to that shot. Where did that ball start? Uh, pretty close to target. Pretty close to target. So let's have a look at the numbers there. So we hit more down on it. Mm -hmm. Which you'd expect, wouldn't you? Which you'd expect. Yeah. But the club path was to the right and the swing direction was just to the right. See, that's not a big number though, is it? It's not a big number, not compared uh, yeah. to what you thought. No, yeah. So what this is doing is this is just bringing awareness of a simple strategy that you can use. Let's say that everything is starting left and it's pull cutting, pull cutting, pull cutting, pull cutting. And there is a certain hole where you cannot go left. Yeah. You can move the ball further back. Yeah. Now, we'll explain in a little bit more detail of why this actually helps you because it's much more than just moving the ball back. Yeah, yeah. It's the orientation of your body and everything else. Yeah. But go again for me, and a little less back than you had it. Oh, there. Mm -hmm. Off you go. All right, so now we've got to push draw. Yeah. Okay, so we obviously don't have the height that we would desire. Yeah. But within reason, if we look at the well. swing plane, it was actually just left of the target. Yeah. Well, and how far right did it feel through there? So far right. So far right. Did that every day. Okay, so start line was where? Uh, pretty close to it, if not maybe just a little bit right. Yeah. Now these changes, remember, these are all about just working with what you got. Yeah. Giving you a bit of a strategy to kind of iron things out yeah. so you can go out and play and not worry have to about hitting those big pull cuts all the time. Yeah. So one of the most important things to look at here is that setup won't look like what you think it looks no, like. No, that felt way, way. <laughs> felt way further back. Now let's have a look at the effect of when we put the analysis in. Let's say looking at a stock image of where a player should set up to a golf ball. Mm in the magazines and on TV versus what you as someone who's out there to enjoy the game yeah. just needs to do to get the ball in the fairway. Yeah. Now, the common perception is that the golf ball needs to be yeah. underneath the lead armpit, right? Yep. Or on the inside of the lead heel, which yep. is what most people do. Now, if you move the ball any further forward than that, you would be starting it at those trees yeah. because of the way that your body moves. Yeah. Now, over here on the right hand side, you'll notice that on the left hand side in the after, you'll notice that that is slightly further back of that point, yeah. okay, just slightly. But 
if we zoom in on the shoulders, see how much more yeah, relaxed yeah. the shoulders are. So what that's doing from a perspective of uh, face on view here is that the more that my shoulders are tilted and moving around, the more the path is going to the left. Yeah. The more my shoulders are back, the more the path is going to the right. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the ball position a little bit further back, but we're gonna get the golf club starting from a position where it is maybe, let's say, uh, back where you felt you were doing in the drill. Right. Now, as a result of doing this, what that's gonna encourage you to do is at the moment of impact, get this feeling that the chest is more behind the golf ball. Now, when we set up to it from the down the line view, the effect that that has is that it'll get the body more level to the ground and the shoulders in a position where they're aiming a little bit more closed relative to your normal position, which is backing up. Yep. Okay, so we're a small ball, adjust, ball adjustment to guarantee the ball starting right. Yep. But then the drill that you can practice on the range is this little twist of the body with a square alignment, twist of the body, which will soften the lead arm, which will get the shoulders more level and it will help you get the feeling and that's what we're going to think about when we're hitting these shots of the shoulders getting more level straight back at the moment of impact with the chest facing behind the golf ball. And when you look at that on camera, everything's going to feel like it's going way more yeah. out to the right there. Okay. So how far back does that feel? Okay. So that to give you an idea is probably in line with this part of your body. So just forward of left shoulder. Now, the trick here is not just the club head, rotate your whole shoulders closed. Right, okay. You're going to put the club there. Yeah. You're going to look at the ball. Right, okay. Right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to try and get your chest back to this point at the moment of impact. Right. Yep. So you can start with the club down on the ground. Great. But you've got to make sure it's not just the club, your chest is aimed. Things. Yeah. So this is down and back. Okay. Okay. Good. Now, give that a shot for me. Good. Now we need to exaggerate it a little bit more. Yeah. So let's do a practice drill. So what you're going to do is you're going to set up to that tee. Yeah. And you're going to put that club, right? Starting on your back foot. Good. And at the moment of impact, I want you to swing to the top. Good. And swing down to the ball. Good. And get the club back to that tee. Good. Right, okay. So you can see the only way you're going to have room is if you feel like you're swinging down that way. Yeah. Because you getting that club back to the ball or to the tee, you're doing that. that way. Yeah. So you can see where it feels like the club is all going yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah, Right? Okay. And again? Yeah. Good. The feeling is that you're going to let the club head yeah. pass your body. Yeah. So one of the best drills to do that, jump over here, is when you set up to it, and it'll be interesting to see the way that you go about this is put the ball a little bit further back how you've got it and place your lead hand out like this. Now your tendency in the downswing would be to your lead shoulder go back and around. So the arm's going to move. What I want you to do is get the feeling that the club is swinging underneath without that lead arm pulling back and away. Now you're going to feel that the club head is coming back to the ball a lot quicker yeah. and it's probably turning over a fair amount too. So, set up to it, good, out here. Now, do one very slowly. Good, so back and under. See how the lead arm picked up and around? Yeah. Still around. All right, that was better. So where do you feel like your path is going now? It does feel straighter. Yeah. Awesome, that's great. Do that again. Good, I want you to exaggerate even more. So at the moment of impact, where the club would come and whip through your chest, your belt buckle, and your shirts, yeah. shirt buttons are all facing back here somewhere. So it's really the club coming through. There you go. Try and resist. That's a great drill for you. Left arm out, feeling that the club head is passing under you without this Move. moving. Yeah. Still a couple more of those for me. To the top and go. Great. To the top. All right. And ready. 
exaggerate. Feel different? Yeah. Further out. So turn back, throw it out to the right. There you go. Now put two hands on. Now I want you to feel like your chest is facing back here. Would have felt like the club head came through way yeah. earlier. Yeah. Okay, so just a soft one, recreate that feeling. Absolutely perfect. Like my, the feeling is, is that you're like coming out of it is what you yeah. would have. And I always feel like when I when I've hit it, I'm like everything is. Yeah. Like I'm out that way. Yeah. And that one there, it's almost like just giving you that few milliseconds of time yeah. where the club can catch up, which neutralizes your path. And you see, you've got great hands, so the ball has the beautiful little draw yeah. every single time. It's just this part of your chest is tilted too far back at the moment of impact. Yeah which shifts your swing direction too far left, yeah. which if you use your hands and they were following your chest, you would hit in the trees over yeah. there. Because it doesn't feel like I'm doing much different with my hand. No, you, well, this is the great thing about it. You don't need to do anything different yeah. with your hands. It's just a slight adjustment to the chest that yeah. just needs to feel a little bit more closed off at the moment of impact. Yeah. Okay. All right, good job. Thank you, sir.